Now previously I've already made videos on plotting two-dimensional graphs and I thought I'll just make a quick video on plotting three-dimensional graphs and we'll do it in three different ways or using three different types of functions here and each is useful depending on what type of what our equation looks like. So the most basic one is suppose I wanted to plot the graph of z equals sine xy one way to do it is to use the plot 3d function so I'll just so this is what you will get and we'll just see how this actually comes about okay so I'll just do this from scratch now the syntax for it is okay so you have plot 3d the first part of the function so you can use plot 3d if you know the function as z equals something if you have your three-dimensional function as z is equal to something then the part you would type is without the z to say sine of xy and there are two options which are compulsory so the first part is just the range of x values so let's say I want to plot this from minus pi to plus pi and then the range of y values again let's say it goes from minus pi to plus pi now if you have watched the video on two-dimensional graphs so if you know how to do that what you would have is just a function and this part here the range of x values which are compulsory here since it's three-dimensional we have to set the range of y values as well so if I then shift enter this so then that gives us this graph here so this is one way to do it and then if you want to add if you want to add some options to it just like we do with two-dimensional graphs the easiest way to do it is if I just select plot 3d and hit F1 I got the help page here and if you just scroll down you can see all the different options that this function has now the way it should go is these three parts have to be in the in this order and these three are compulsory and then any options you want to put on it can go in any order so for example let's say I want to label my axis so I just put this on the next line so the command is called axis label and then I could say so the way you can get the arrow if you don't know how to do it if you haven't got Mathematica 11 and you can just tap for it you put a hyphen and then a greater than sign and when you press the say space bar it just creates that arrow so what we'll say for right now is just automatic and so in this case it has labeled the x-axis and the y-axis so we can see the x-axis there that's the y-axis and that's the z-axis if you want to name it explicitly what you can do is put it within braces so I could name say that's the x-axis and then comma and then with an inverted comma say the y-axis and then let's say the z-axis okay so now it has actually named this the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis so what we'll do is let's just use this again okay with uh, I'd like to show a couple of different options with plot 3d and I think the way we'll do it is suppose we wanted to plot a paraboloid okay so we've got one here and it says the equation of a paraboloid is given by z equals x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared if a and b just control the scaling of it uh, or how much it stretches in x and y direction so I'll just set those two equal to 1 so let's try this one again so make the text a little bit bigger so let's say plot 3d and I want to plot x squared plus y squared so that's what my function is equal to Oops, x squared plus y squared and let's say we want to plot this from something like minus 3 to plus 3 and the y values within braces as minus 3 to plus 3 and let's see what it looks like right so clearly this is exactly the same graph but clearly it does look different to what it shows here and the reason being this is what they've done is they plotted this and then sort of truncated the, the z values so one thing we can do here is there is an option called so if I go back to the help file and if I look at the options there's something called the plot range and the plot range determines how far you want your z values to go okay so what I mean by that is so it's 
easier just to do it I think so let's say the plot range again I want to say hyphen greater than sign and suppose I say 0 comma 9 so what that does is it now plots the graph for the z values only from 0 to 9 so now that looks a lot more okay apart from uh, it does show the clipping here there are ways to get rid of that I won't show you that in this video and so what that's done is now given me something that looks similar to this okay now there are also other options there's one called aspect ratio which you might find useful so I'll just say aspect ratio full uh, maybe let's just make this equal to one okay so now I suppose that looks a little bit more like what we are given here on this page and just out of interest if I was to try and plot this one here y squared minus x squared or even x squared minus y squared it gives me a very similar graph what's known as a hyperbolic paraboloid and let's take away the plot range or let's say the plot range from minus 9 to plus 9 and it gives me something like this so once again it does look a little bit different to this right? it seems to have a nice rounded curve maybe on a later video I'll show you how it's done okay, and what they've done is essentially taken this and only plotted it within say a unit circle okay so plot3d is useful if you have a function where you have z is equal to something just like it is here or here or the first one we did now sometimes what you do have is you might want to plot something like this let's say a spheroid where it's not defined explicitly the function is defined implicitly so we have say x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 1 so this is where the contour plot 3d function can be more useful so okay so the way the contour plot works is so the function is called contour plot 3d and the parameters of this function are the first one the first part of it is you can give the equation as you see it here but when you put an equal sign you type that as a double equal what I mean is let's say I wanted to plot x squared plus y squared plus say z squared is equal to let's say 4 now I cannot just say is equal to 4 like this because that's like I'm trying to assign a value to x y and z what I want to do is say that this is an equation and when I press equals and when I press the space bar it just changes into a character like that okay so and unlike the previous case where I only had a range of x and y now I need to give a range of x y and z so let's say I want to plot this from x equals my so what this would give me is actually a sphere with a radius of 2 so I'll plot this from x y and z for minus 3 to plus 3 so then the z values are minus 3 to plus 3 Okay, and close that bracket and there you go so that gives me a sphere the numbers in front of x y and z will simply control so if I made that 0 0.5 that makes it a spheroid if the numbers are all the same it gives me a sphere so for the moment I'll just leave it like this and obviously you can also plot other things like say a hyperboloid I can make this equal to so I'll go back to that so if I had x squared plus y squared minus z squared equal to let's say 0 0.5 so it gives me something like this so contour plot 3d is more useful if you have a function where or if you're given the equation is not defined explicitly so it's implicitly defined as x squared plus y squared uh, plus uh, plus z squared is equal to something or if you try to make z the subject it may not be very very easy now the final one is the parametric plot 3d so this is useful if you have a function that is defined parametrically in terms of uh, a variable t and u or something so for instance let's look at say we wanted to plot a cylinder and we know the parametric equations are x is equal to a cos v y is equal to a sine v and z is equal to u so u and v are just my variables the a here just determines the radius of the cylinder now the form of this one is going to be so so parametric plot 3d and the way I want to give my function is to say 
within within braces I would give my x, y and z in parametric form so meaning x is equal to a cos v so let's just say that's cos of v and then I have my y component which is let's say sine of v and then my z component which is a different variable u now the u and v you can obviously pick any two letters you want so this defines the function x y and z in terms of u and v and then the next part of the function you just need to say what range of values do u and v go from so let's say I want v to go from 0 to 2 pi and I want my u values to go from say 0 to 5 okay and there you go that gives me a cylinder okay the 0 to 5 for y for u in this case just determine the height of the cylinder and the 0 to 2 pi just determine the full revolution so if I had said 0 to 1.5 pi I would get three quarters of a cylinder here so just three different ways to plot three-dimensional graphs so plot 3d is good if you already have a function defined explicitly if you have a function that's implicit then use contour plot 3d or if you have a parametric plot or parametric form then parametric plot 3d is more useful and there's quite a lot of stuff you can do with it maybe on a later video I'll show you how to do the uh, there are lots of options where things like the plot style you can change the opacity and then you can plot things like this okay so that's a transparent graph plotted within a certain limit and then maybe later I'll also show you how to combine plots together where you might have a parametric plot and a contour plot within one graphic